Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, welcome to my channel. My name is Joyce, I'm here to talk to you about Jesus and what he did to us and why he deserves us and why he is so worthy to us. Jesus is so worthy to us because he came here to save us. He, Jesus did not come here to condemn us. He did not come here to become enemy. Some people see Jesus as enemy. And that's why they see also us as enemies. But Jesus did not come here for to even to be enemy of anybody. Jesus came here to save us from our sins. Jesus came here, he left heaven a beautiful heaven with all the glory he just decided to say that i am going down to take care of them to make sure that they are also coming in heaven and stay with me forever and whoever believe in jesus must be saved has to be saved you know what i say has to be saved because believing on jesus alone is not that it is enough it is just the door the key to enter from one place it's like baby step from one place to another you believe in jesus then you believe in his words and then you do his words and then you will be rewarded do you understand so it is not just with some people say ah, I believe is enough so I can believe if you believe in if you believe in a, an umbrella and you say that I just believe in umbrella and you go you must have to open the umbrella and you put on your head and then you will see the result of that now that it is not raining on me do you understand as it's just exactly the same believing only does not save you and you cannot do the will of someone you do not believe because then you will be i don't know it i, I don't believe that it is going to work so first you have to believe the reason we are here we me a person like me somebody preached to me i didn't not and i after i knew i understood and i came to the point i decided to realize i realized that i was going wrong and i was i'm going to be lost i said that i have to go back i have to go back to my lord and i want my lord and i hallelujah and i I repented my sins and that's why I'm I'm here today to tell everyone that Jesus is the Lord and it is true he is I have analyzed I have done a lot of research myself I have been through a lot and this was not before I started to experience miracles in my life it was just when I started to realize that Jesus is real. And then I started to believe. And then, after starting to believe and believe and believe, and so I came to the point, I started to ask and Jesus answer. Do you understand? And then this is me. Now I do not doubt about the presence of Jesus any longer. I, ne I do not doubt about it. I believe he is alive. I believe he's alive. It's not because they, I can say that, ah, these Christians, they are just, they like to, they just believe and they pushing their agendas. In. We are not pushing agenda. We are telling you, we are warning you, if you don't make your mind starting to seek the Lord, your soul will be lost forever. And this is the message of the gospel. And it, it can be, look, it, it, it sounds very scary. But uh, what can we do? We cannot, we cannot let you go disappear. It, we must have to talk. And uh, talking is about also telling the truth. That's why, you know, even uh, Jesus was himself rejected. I, I am also being rejected. I have been 
persecuted. I have been rejected by people. I have been rejected by friends. But I know that all this is worth it. Because if... Because sometimes I have been in my life or have experienced so much. I have even been experiencing rejection because of only I tell people the truth. And I will continue to speak this truth until the rest, in the rest, at the rest of my life. I will be telling people that Jesus is true. The problem is it, if you cannot seek him, you will not find him and you will never know about him. And the only thing we can do is to continue to talk. Jesus himself, when he came here, he was rejected by people. You know, when Jesus came here, he was walking around. He was rejected everywhere. Jesus was preaching on the street. That was his, he, that was his job here on earth until he went to the cross. He was walking on the street every morning on, on, on his feet walking around going to the markets being ridiculed by people he talked and the people laughed he spoke and the people sometimes they wanted to stone him and he disappeared when he told people when they get offended they do they did all what they did to make sure that they to make him disappear so to this is the madness of humanity you know many people are mad because they are demon possessed when they are being told the truth they get angry if you know that if someone is telling you the truth about god and you become angry know there is demons that are possessing you nothing else and the is the reason why we must continue to talk do you understand jesus told us because he know himself he has been through all that and he told us you will experience the same do you know he is experienced the same as i did he, you understand and they shall they sh and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gentiles they will take you to even to the governors of course jesus knew that this could even happen that people angry people they could even uh, can do that i have seen some people has been really been arrested because of preaching of the gospel of the word because of preaching the word of god i saw that in people who has been uh, has been uh, I know that I myself has experienced that people call me all evil words because they, they sometimes they call me crazy, they call me whatever because I tell them the truth. But I know that I am happy because it is I am doing this and it is for the Lord. Do you know? Even if the word of God say, blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in the day of the leap for joy because great is your reward in heaven. You know, every time when we experience persecution, we shall not be angry. We shall rejoice. That you are doing a good business with God because that your reward is is becoming bigger in heaven. You are you are earning more loyalty from God. You understand that. So we are not angry when he, we shall not be angry when we experience those things like rejection. When we experience those things like. Um, being insulted being called all the evil names because of the name of the lord we shall just be happy that those things are happening to us because now i can see that because now i'm i'm earning some great reward from my lord jesus so we have to understand that
the, we understand that uh, we the reward we are receiving we can re receive those rewards here or we can also receive there in heaven and uh, all those things we are coming together because every time when you experience rejection you know that this is the time when you are being lifted every time we experience trial you know that the trials are all all those things that they will strengthen us and they bring us even higher in our ministries we become blessed because of those when we pass those trials because those are like exams for us so we shall not be angry when it comes it happens that you uh you experience that uh you are being uh, you experience trials james in james chapter 1 verse 12 blessed is the man who per perceives under trials because he when he stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. So every time when we experience those mm, trials, we shall not be angry. We shall not be sad because ah, we must have to rejoice. We know that now at least I am, I am being lifted even further example when we are trying to you are trying now i'm you, you are trying to get even higher in your ministry you are getting higher in your because all those tests they are bringing us closer they show we get the possible we get the opportunity to show how how our strength to the Lord and the Lord know that this man has a test passed this test let me place him even into the next level you understand that when you are sitting you uh, you get angry when you s no don't get angry at all of those see those persecutions like now I'm going to be lifted even higher do you understand now my ministry is going to grow now even because the gifts of God are invisible but they are really really big they are huge do you understand and the blessings of God when they come you cannot even see them by their eyes but you will experience when after that the result has come when then you say, "Wow! I didn't never. I did not expect this. Uh, was I did not. Ex I did not know what is, I was going to. I was going to get." First Peter chapter four verse fourteen. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and the uh, and the, of God rests on you. You know, at that moment when people started to insult you, they call you, "You are crazy." You're stupid. You are. You don't know anything. You well, they can say anything about you, as long as you know what you are doing. You know that. Uh, you know that. Uh, this is what is the part of game. That uh, you should have to experience. So I just uh, tell to those people uh, that there, that uh, don't all what you we experience now don't get angry because of those things don't ever get angry of those things because those things are what i can call it mm, what i call it i can call them It is like the capitals for us. You understand the capital, yeah? Now, when you when you, something like this happens, that means that the capital is increasing, and that means that the outcome will be even greater. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. So be happy. In Luke chapter twenty-one, verse seventeen, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Jesus knew that we we are going to experience all those things 
But you know what? Sometimes you can we sometimes you can say why? Um all the evils they always succeed in their plans and they do succeed in their plans but we cannot uh, we cannot uh, uh, we cannot um, why why is god and why god is quiet all about all those things yes god is letting those people succeed so that we can be put into that exam against them so that we can be proved that you how strong we have been so sometimes you can see that those people those people they succeed in their plans you can see that those evil people when they do all those things when they speak all those evil when they do those things they succeed and you a man of god you can see sometimes you are sitting there and you're watching and but in god is doing nothing to stop them sometimes those people are being let to stand in front of you so that you can be proved do you understand in order to be placed to the next level do you know so you should be happy and the word of god is telling us that we should be we should be patient as our God is patient. So the patience of our God, because God is patient and he wants also us to be patient. Do you understand? I'm going to read, I'm not going to read more about this because the video will be too long. I say that God is wanting us to be patient because the patience is what, why God wants us to be patient? Because he is giving those people the chance also to repent because all what jesus came here was to save you understand he did not come here to condemn anybody if jesus never insulted back do you understand when he was insulted he never insulted back so he wants also us to do the same why do we have to do the same because we have to we, we want to save them we have to save them he is giving them the possibility to repent and he want us to be patient because of that so do not be angry you know that you have been placed at work and you are at work do you know when you're at work i have been working at the site psychiatry hospital and i know how it is these people these the people when they are sick they are just sick and when you are um, you are taking care of them you are just um, you're a nurse so you are a nurse you cannot go around and start to fight with the uh, patients do you understand you must have to treat them well in no matter the situation you know so when you are becoming then you are coming to that point of the people started to hate you to call you names to reject you remember this that you are still at work and you are paid do you know for that so why do you think you need to be angry huh mm -hmm. Because even Jesus said that this work is not is not easy. It has never been easy for him. That does not mean that it shall be easy for us. Do you understand? It shall not be easy for us. You understand? So it will not be easy for us. Mm. So this is the word of God is telling us it shall not be easy for us. And uh, follow Jesus, you must know this one thing that you should deny yourself. You should deny yourself. Deny yourself. Um we are going to talk about this to the next capital because now 
until next time but this is what i am going to tell you that you must have to learn to why we are here praise the living god i hope this will help someone in the name of jesus might name father in the name of jesus christ i place all these people in your hands and i'm asking you lord to touch them and make them understand what i have been talking about whoever who come across this video just let this video talk to that person and i rebuke the spirit of stubbornness to get out and the world shall 